about to leave already packing come with me hey guys I I start recording. Either someone's crying, someone's hungry, someone wants to take a bath, someone's calling me, or someone's texting me. <sighs> I thought that I would do a little bit of a different type of video. Like, what's the point of even recording if I can't even talk? Hey guys, so I thought that today I would record a how to pack. No, not how to pack. Not gonna teach you how to pack you guys know how to pack <laughs> so I thought it'd be kind of fun to record a pack with me video so we're flying out to Punta Cana in a couple days with my sister and her family so today I'm gonna kind of start putting things together um, just like creating lists and walking through every room and getting out like the summer things that I put away for the winter and things like that so I personally enjoy watching pack with me videos even though it's like you know, what could you possibly learn? I feel like everybody packs pretty similarly. But anyways, I thought it'd still just be a fun little video to watch. So I hope you guys enjoy. A few days before we fly out, I usually run to Target to kind of grab a few essentials that we need for the trip. Obviously sunscreen, this is my favorite brand. I got three of these um, for the family. Things like Advil, cute little travel size things a leave I don't know guys I don't know probably won't need any of that but just in case um, obviously wet wipes and then these Clorox wipes for the plane and I always bring one of these for the kids I know they're not babies I still wash them in this head-to-toe wash <laughs> sometimes a good bar of Dove soap but I'm, I'm I don't know I'm still I'm still here guys I'm still here before we fly out I like to go through the boys' clothes to kind of see if they need anything because my boys grow so fast. I feel like every vacation I'm buying them something new. So this time around, Zion needed new slides, so I got these on Amazon. Super inexpensive, super comfortable for him. Just kind of things like that. I went to Primark, Primark, I have no idea how to pronounce that store, but I buy them like little essentials. I bought them both like the same pair of shorts because I'm that kind of mom. I bought them the same type of shirts because again, I'm that kind of mom. And I even bought them, you guessed, the same kind of sunglasses because I'm that kind of mom. But honestly, look how cute these are. They're like knockoffs of the Ray-Ban Clubmasters. How cute I would wear these and they were $2.50. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. How cute. I love going on Amazon and just finding different sunglasses for vacation because I feel like it just dresses up an outfit and you don't have to wear so much makeup out in the sun. Somebody like me who loves to wear makeup this kind of like disguises the fact that you're not wearing any makeup and it's just super fun. I am obsessed with these. They're definitely not your typical pair of sunglasses, but I feel like they're just such a statement piece and you kind of wear them like a little bit lower on your nose just for that kind of effect. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I know they're super in right now and I love them. And a good pair of aviators. I love a mirrored look. Hello. These are like a pink orange with some green in it. And these are kind of like those round Ray-Bans that are in right now. Um, definitely not a pair that I usually gravitate towards, but they're definitely cute. And I feel like if you're wearing a little bit of a simpler outfit, this is a fun way to kind of um, just have a fun take. These are kind of like Barbie vibes, I feel. They're retro, but they remind me of like that Barbie with her super high platforms. And then she'll have these in like white or in red. Even though I love trying different sunglasses, um, I think that aviators typically look the best on my face shape. They're just, I don't know, they complement my, my big chin, <laughs> my big Gogan chin. But um, I feel like I don't even have to try them on and usually they look okay. And I always have like a new pair that I buy every vacation because I'm always breaking them because I feel like they're also the cheapest type of sunglasses. They're very thin, like thin frame thin things everything's thin so this is real life i'm starting to uh, put some clothes together and they're supposed to be helping me but of course everyone's just being crazy <laughs> 
so basically I'm just finishing off the rest of our laundry and starting to um, divide it and decide what's coming with us, what's not. Obviously I'm drinking coffee, well there's no more left, but um, that's like my fuel for the day. So stay tuned. <laughs> like on the day that I have so much to do, these kids have way too much energy. Like yes, too I much <laughs> To, like pull me down. They are like making a mess when they should be cleaning and unpacking their goodies when they should be packing them. They are so loud. For two boys, sounds like I have ten. <laughs> so today is February 8th or 9th? 8th I think. It's Friday and um, it's been a crazy day. I've been literally driving around all day and I'm gonna start officially putting clothes into the suitcases. So today is like three days before we fly out, I think. Yeah. So I have the kids' clothes organized like summer and winter clothes. So this is their summer clothes. It hasn't been touched since the last vacation after I washed everything. So it's gonna be easy for me to quickly go through and like, you know, transfer this stuff into the luggage. Come with me. I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know What I noticed is that when we do go to a tropical destination Even though we're swimming a lot and the kids are mostly in like swimming shorts um, I do notice that we go through two shirts a day Plus their evening outfit so I always double pack a t-shirt per day if that makes sense in case they get dirty there's so much ice cream involved all day things like that so I always bring two t-shirts per child for the day and then also once again their evening outfit which is usually like a dress shirt or like a nicer polo or something like that so that's why there's always like a huge stack and I'm not done yet I'm just picking out like the nicer things right now and then We'll go from there. Like, I ain't taking Thomas to train, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is more like at home where nobody's coming over. And if someone comes over, I'm like, take that shirt off. I'm just kidding. Where am I? Easy peasy, chicken sleazy. All ready to be put into their luggage. That took me probably five minutes total. Lastly is just picking out a few dress shirts. For dinner time, these kids are just... They are in every video. I am sorry if you if they're talking over me. I'm trying my best every room that I go to they follow me So that's just real life right there. But anyways, so I'll just grab a cute a couple cute Dress shirts and toss them into the bag too. Can you tell? There's a color scheme here. I mean being a boy. There's really not much out there You can have that one random like pink one, but That's just what I'm working with Another day, another Amazon package. It's so windy today that everything's literally like flying around. <laughs> but this is probably something for a vacation and so is this. Thank you, helper. Here, you can carry this one. Mama. So I did some last minute shopping on Amazon. Let's see how this goes. But this is like a little t-shirt. I don't know, really obsessed with the roses lately. I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is like a Yeezy inspired shirt. It's got like holes in there. You know, my grandma would be so proud. And then a little cami. Oh no, those look so cheap. Why do they have to do that? It looked so much nicer online. This might be a send back, but we'll see. Quick outfit change. I just um, swapped out my top. I'm trying on a new shirt that just came in the mail. But anyways, um, I got a tip that I wanted to share from Alex Garza. I don't know if any of you guys watch her channel. I love her and her husband. I watch their vlog channel, their main channel. And she did a, like a, kind of like a packing with me video two years ago, I think, a year ago or two years ago. And she mentioned this tip that I never actually considered doing until I just rewatched that video randomly. And she mentioned um, putting together your outfits before you fly out and literally trying everything on. So plan each outfit stand in front of the mirror, take a picture of it, and then pack it into your bag. And for me, I'm like, that is just so much work. Who the heck has time for that? And honestly, I just I just don't wanna do that. But now, looking back at all my trips, I overpack like crazy. I bring 
triple the amount of clothes that I need and it's very overwhelming when you get there and you're like wait what am I wearing today like then I'm tossing things to the side I don't wear half the clothes I bring um, a lot of the things are new and it's like I don't get to wear them on vacation so I'm going to try to do that tip and um, just try on my full outfit for the day whether it's like going to the pool or to dinner and take a picture to kind of remember what I tossed together um, and I think it's going to help me save space on my luggage because that's always an issue. And also just like less stress when you're there, just thinking about these outfits. So today is February 9th. It is Saturday. We are leaving in two days. Um, I woke up super early today thinking I'm going to get a lot done. I have my coffee here now. And um, my brother-in-law ended up coming over with his wife and we ended up spending pretty much the entire afternoon with them. And then we ended up going out to lunch with them and um, it was awesome. But now I'm really behind in packing. And I just talked to my sister and I just saw her progress and she's like way ahead of me. And she has, I was gonna say she has five kids. She has three kids, so there's five of them. And she's really chugging along there. So I need to speed it up. I have one luggage brought up here uh to start putting the kids things in i <laughs> this is my real life situation i have to go through all of this stuff right now and start putting things away nobody wants to help me pack still sitting here another load of laundry washed you guys might be thinking, like, how much laundry can you possibly wash? But when you have two boys, it's never ending. Can't show you my husband, because he's got no clothes on, but he's finally here helping me. <laughs> Except he's singing. Oh, gosh. So today is the day before we fly out, and I'm going to go through their carry-ons. And this is pretty much what we do. We went to Five Below. We bought a bunch of like fun things to keep them entertained. Like these books, they absolutely love these. Um, and honestly, Zion could probably do this the whole flight because he loves it. And just little quirky things like Hatchimals. Yes, they like them for trips, don't ask. A bunch of candies and snacks and things like that. Opening these little Lego guys. So that's, that's the highlight of their trip. They're probably more excited for that than actually going. And here's Zion's stash, so we're gonna just transfer these into their bags. So before we fly out anywhere, I love to wash my makeup brushes. I love just waking up wherever I'm going and having completely germ-free brushes. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm not gonna wash all of these, just the ones that I know that I'm gonna absolutely need and use. Um, and I always start with washing them with this baby wash. And then, like the crazy person that I am, I still run them through at the very end with this brush cleanser by MAC. It's like alcohol-based, so I feel like it really thoroughly kills any germs and bacteria. And then obviously just some clean dry towels to lay the brushes on. And then I use like a thicker uh, towel to put some of this cleanser on and then just swirl my brushes through. have them set out to dry by the window just so that they are fully dry for tomorrow morning because I do need to use them before we fly out but here are my essential brushes um, maybe this is a little overwhelming for some people but for me every single brush has a different purpose so that's that happy to be done on to the next thing my closet is a mess so I'm not gonna really show you much of it but now it's time to narrow it down to my dinner outfits this is the toughest part because I'm gonna have to try on all of my clothes, all of my black clothes <laughs> to kind of narrow it down. So wish me luck. I'm probably going to be here for the next half hour to an hour. Okay, it is, I don't know what time it is. It is 4.45 on Sunday afternoon or slash evening and we are finally packed. Got our suitcases, the kids carry-ons, this room is cleared out and we are ready to go.